Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the most powerful man in the universe, He-Man. This is the new vintage figure line from Super 7. Uh, as seen on TV, you see it looks just like the retro packaging. Uh, from what I remember, and from what I've seen from John's collection... Because uh, he's got almost the entire collection of the old school Masters of the Universe still in their packages. I ordered this off of Big Bad Toy Store. Uh, along with three others, which we'll get to in another video. A couple other videos, actually. Uh, but today, let's go ahead and just take a look at He-Man. As you can see here... New Adult Collector Masters of the Universe He-Man, the most powerful man in the universe, as seen on TV from Super 7. And as you can tell, this is unpunched. And on the back here, we have a little, uh, little fight scene between He-Man and Skeletor there. He-Man battles his immortal enemy Skeletor. High atop the mysterious Castle Grayskull. Super7.com. Masters of the Universe, 5.5 inch action figures, 13.97 centimeters. Collect them all, each sold separately. We have the heroic warriors here He Man, the most powerful man in the universe. She Ra, the most powerful woman in the universe. Uh, the evil warriors, Skeletor, the evil lord of destruction. Uh, from the evil horde, Hordak. Ruthless leader of the evil horde. And the powers of Grayskull. Hero, the most powerful wizard in the universe. And Eldor, heroic guardian of the Book of Living Spells. Uh, as you can see here, uh, He-Man does have an action feature. Twist his waist, and he swings back with a punch. Now let's go ahead and open this guy up and check out the figure. Alright, so something to be noticed is He-Man does come halfway in a little plastic bag to protect his legs, I guess. So we'll go ahead and take that off. And we'll stand him up. Let's see if he balances well. He does not balance that well. Let's see if we can figure this out. There we go. That should do. Maybe. Still no. Hmm. There we go. Let's go ahead and lower this down. And something else to notice, he does come with... It's not a comic, it's just a card back. Masters of the Universe, the filmation uh, design there. He-Man in front of Castle Grayskull, changing by the power of Grayskull. From toy to tune. He-Man and the Masters of the Universe brought action and adventure into living rooms around the world. And the fun continued with exciting Masters of the Universe action figures. In order to deliver the cartoon series on time, the toy designers were simplified for animation. So that the figures did not always match the characters children saw on TV. Until now. He-Man's first animated appearance was an early television commercial for Castle Grayskull. The commercial's toy accurate look was streamlined and stylized, removing details from his costume and eliminating his battle axe and shield in favor of the iconic power sword. Very cool. Set that off to the side. And we also got baggie of weapons. Let's go ahead and take those out and we'll take a look at the weapons. That is if, of course, I can get it torn open. All right, so this He-Man does not come with a power or a battle axe um, like the vintage He-Man came with. He does come with his shield and the shield does come apart. I saw that, I believe I saw that on Pixel Dan's channel. Uh, that it came apart so 
Now, just trying to put it back together. There we go. Just snaps back together. You gotta make sure and line up the smaller holes correctly and then the rest of it will just pop into place. It also comes with half of the power sword, just like the vintage uh, figure did. And it comes with a full power sword. Very cool. Uh, these are a little bit harder plastic than the originals. Uh, from what I remember, the plastic for the originals was kind of soft, really. Yeah, very flimsy. But these are pretty pretty solid. Now let's go ahead and take a look at He-Man. Uh, as you can tell, some of the main differences between this He-Man and the original action figure is the hairstyle, for one. Uh, he does not have the rubber or soft plastic head. Uh, it is a solid head. He is a little bit shinier. And he does not have the, um, the little squares on his power harness. Uh, other than that, oh, also his bracelets. Uh, in the original line, only half of the bracelets were colored. And they had uh, circles on them similar to his power belt here. Uh, but this line, just very solid. Looks just like the cartoon, except... The cartoon did not have a design on the belt, looks like. So, now that we got that out of the way, this leg is a little bit looser than this one. This one's a little bit more solid. And I think the original line, uh, the legs were uh, held together by a rubber band, I do believe. I could be wrong. It's been years since I've had a He-Man figure. Ooh, that one's really tight. I do not want to try and bend that um, very tight. I might break that if I tried. This one is a lot looser, uh, but this one, yeah, I'm not even going to try to bend that to uh, break that joint free uh, because I might end up breaking the leg. But anyway, his arm goes all arms go all the way around. Uh, his head spins all the way around he turns at the waist which is part of his action feature yeah and that's a very solid action feature uh, anyway you saw the legs go out and they got a joint right there right there then go out about that far uh, if it's not stiff uh, it looks like also the power harness can also come off. Now we go ahead and slip his shield. Well, the shield has similar problem as the original. It doesn't like to slip over that hand quite as well. Uh, but as you can see, I did manage to get it. Now we'll go ahead and put the power sword in his hand. I really like this. I really like this figure. Uh, like I said, it's been forever since I've had a He-Man figure. Uh, the closest thing I've gotten was Cyclone from the 2000X series. Um, I used to have the majority of the He-Man action figures as a kid. But, you know, over the years they get lost in moves. And some of them got left behind. Some of them broke. You know, it is what it is. That's what happens when you grow up. Uh, but it's very cool that Super 7 is doing this line now. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I do plan on getting the other lines. Uh, I'll get... Uh, hopefully I'll get Hero and Eldor uh, later. Maybe in the next couple months. And then I'll get uh, Series 2 uh, later this summer. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned next time when we take a look at Super 7's Skeletor. Have a good one, everyone. Take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, 
make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.